Oh, it's, uh, it's something super special. It's something uh, that I've learned to appreciate over the years. Uh, you know, you hear a lot of guys talk about it when you're growing up, about giving back to the game or, you know, to their communities and stuff like that. And you don't really know what they mean, I don't think, until you, you get a little bit older and you realize it's not going to be in your life as much anymore. And uh, you get the reward out of, you know, seeing these kids out here laughing, smiling, obviously getting better. That's what we're out here to help with. And, uh, yeah, if you can make any of those happen, it's, uh, it's a win for us. Last time we saw you was at the end of season banquet with the Comets. You kind of talked about how you were still trying to weigh your options between retirement, maybe playing one more year. Has that decision changed at all in that time since? Uh, no, unfortunately. Um, I've kind of just been letting things come and go. Um, you know, I, I, my first focus was I've, I've been wanting to get a, a home back in Michigan, and I've, I was finally able to do that. So that's uh, step one. And doesn't mean I can't play, but uh, that was just something that's been weighing on my mind. And uh, until I was able to do that, I, I don't think I was going to be able to think too clearly. And uh, so fortunately, we're, we're pretty new into the process there. So I'm still going through it a little bit. But uh, yeah, it'll give me more time to think now. I mean, I think it's still early enough in the summer that I have some time to to sit back and see what happens. And obviously, there's still hockey being played right now, which is crazy. You know, obviously, I have Game 7 tonight. So it, it's, it almost uh, that reaffirms that it's a little early for me to go jump into any conclusions yet. So we'll wait and see. I obviously still have a passion for the game, and I'm going to be involved one way or another. And we'll see if it's uh, in uniform or not. For sure. Uh, and again, the last time we talked with you two, you've kind of mentioned how you're kind of like Fort Wayne's adopted son at this point. Uh, for you, just having so much history in this city, so much history of success, uh, regardless of what happens one way or the other, just what has your time in Fort Wayne meant to you? Oh, it's a lot. I mean, you just said it. It's a place I call my second home. And, uh, you know, I, I always thought that would be Erie, Pennsylvania, because that's where my mom's from. That's where my dad met my mom. And I played juniors there. And I spent four years there. And uh, when I was going through that, I always thought that was a long time. Like, I thought four years with one team without being traded, I, I think that's success anywhere you go. Um, so I never really imagined staying anywhere longer than four years. And uh, obviously, it ended up happening and over double that. So um, it's extremely special, obviously, close to home. I've made a ton of friends here. Uh, a lot of people in the organization that I definitely care about and uh, will be lifelong friends. So um, I'm always going to be here one way or another, whether it's playing, coming back to watch, being involved on the other side, who knows. But uh, yeah, city means a lot. Let me ask you this, um, you know, teaming up with PD at this camp, how much do you enjoy him as a person, as a teammate? Just how much do you enjoy him overall? Oh, not that much. Um, he pays me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, fortunately, uh, you know, it's fun to be able to do this stuff with friends and uh, you know, people you enjoy playing with and being around and, uh, you know, similar similar personalities in the sense that we always wanted to win. Um, you know, he's a hard worker, um, so doing anything with him, I know that the work's going to be put in. And, you know, I'm here just to assist him right now. It's his camp. You know, it's the, the P13 hockey camp. So, uh, you know, he's leading the way, and I'm just following out here to help whatever way I can. And it's more fun for me that way, too. I don't have to think as much. I get to hang with the kids and kind of focus on them and uh, you know he's he's the one that's got to answer all the hard questions and deal with the parents so it's it's good for me it's a good setup but no I, I, I enjoy doing stuff for him it's uh, super fun to be here and uh, you know him having a, a kid on the way too I don't know how much I'll get to see him after that so uh, we got a good couple weeks here to spend with each other that's awesome man that's awesome all right most important question game seven who's racing the cup I'm conflicted uh, honestly I I'll, I'll just say I'm rooting for the Oilers. I want to see Connor win one, obviously. I think a lot of people do, but, uh, you know, he played in Erie, so, of course, I, I consider him a little bit of a, like, I know him. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I, I, I honestly, I was telling everyone, I, I truly thought Florida would sweep either Edmonton or Dallas, and they went up 3-0, and I was looking around going, I told you guys, and then this happened. So, uh, you know, you can't really doubt momentum at this point. With Edmonton winning three in a row, I, I think it would be silly to doubt, doubt them. And especially they have the best player in the world. So I would say Edmonton tonight. That would be my guess.